What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is basically how to turn a non-Star Wars picture into a Star Wars picture, something like this. Alright, so basically uh, the first thing that you're going to have to do here is we're going to have to get rid of his sword, his sword, hand, his sword uh, handle things that are sticking out, and the name. And this is all done with the cloning tool. Okay, so I zoomed in and to find your cloning tool it is located right under the little band-aid looking icon thing the healing patch right under that you have the clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool we want the clone stamp tool okay and pick our brush size I'm gonna go for like a 30 here and how this works is uh, we're basically gonna sample a certain part of it and then put it here so you hold down alt and you'll see like a little uh, looks like a target comes up and then when you click your mouse you will have sampled and then you click a part and you'll see it is pasting that little part click alt again alt boom alt Alright, this gets to be a little bit more tricky when we're dealing with his pants. Alt. Still looking pretty good. Alt. A little bit up here. Alt. And we got rid of most of it. Alt. And let me reduce my brush size for some fine tuning here. Clean up the sides. And we're almost there. Okay, so we're ready to start adding the saber. Now, there's two ways we could do the saber we could do it with the uh, pen tool which I usually use or we could do it with the uh, brush tool which which is pretty nice too and pretty fast okay so uh, to get started on our saber we're gonna go here to edit I mean I'm sorry we're gonna go to layer new layer and we're gonna set our mode to screen very important and the most important or it will not colorize is you have to check fill with screen neutral color black I fill with screen neutral color black. Remember that. All right. Okay, so we have our first layer created. All right, so we could either draw it out with our line tool here, our pen tool, like so, and then we would have a cool saber but in this case I'm actually gonna show you a little tip on how to do your saber blade even faster with the brush tool which works good when you uh, when you could kinda see some of the opening of the hilt that we don't have to draw in the roundness so I'm gonna pick my brush tool and I'm gonna set the uh, to about maybe six pixels it's a good size blade and this is real easy I just click right where I want it to start in the hilt once you see that dot, I'm going to hold down shift and then click again where I want the tip of the blade to end. Bam, it drew it out for me with a quickness. And I'm pretty much ready to go here. So now I just begin uh, with the same uh, Gaussian blur method that I always use here. So, first layer, go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and give it a radius of 1 then we want to copy this layer three different times so either go to edit uh, I mean uh, image duplicate or just keep pressing control J three times control J control J okay so now that we have four different layers go to the second layer go to filter go to blur Gaussian blur give it a 10 radius under that filter blur Gaussian blur radius of 20 under that filter blur Gaussian blur radius of 40 
every once in a while if you really want a lot of outer luminous you would do one more layer and put it to an 80 in this case I'm not so now before we colorize it we need to merge all these down to one layer so how to do that is you would go to layer and merge down or just hit control E and you'll see they'll all be in one layer make sure you don't merge it into your background layer or it'll colorize everything so here we see a little black box with the saber and we know we're good to go so to colorize it we're gonna go here to uh, image adjustments and uh, color balance or just press control B and that'll bring this up here so uh, let's go ahead and uh, give them a red saber alright and kick up the midtones I like to use shadows only in reds only in reds and some highlights and zoom out to actual pixels and we got a pretty mean looking saber <clears throat> all right now now we have our saber created if you want the saber to stick out a little more a uh, nice little trick you could do is just uh, highlight the saber layer and press control J and then go here to the opacity and ease back pretty far back and as you will see it'll give it a little more oomph use our burn tool here to kinda get rid of the uh, blurriness and there we go we got a nice looking red saber alright now another thing I wanted to go over is uh, if you want a lens flare now there's nothing that really pisses me off well it's kinda like a pet peeve of mine is uh, lens flares that are white okay if you got a red saber you want a red lens flare so basically this is how it's done same thing go to layer go to new layer and uh, just like the lightsaber we're gonna give it uh, a blending mode of screen and the fill with neutral color black again very important or it won't colorize as always okay so now we're gonna render our uh, our flare here so we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to render and we're gonna go to lens flare and we're gonna pick 105 prime and do it and then just basically uh, click here on the pointer tool and drag it to the tip of the hilt alright and you'll see it's white and we don't want it to be white so what we want to do here is we want to colorize it so go to adjustments image adjustments and then color balance and go up here to red and make that sucker red not white but red and that is pretty much more like it alright now you'll notice a lot of funkiness around it and to get out that funkiness because that's another pet peeve I have all these little glowy things I just want this little circle here by the saber I don't want none of this BS here is again we're gonna get our uh, friend to burn tool here and we're just gonna burn a little wider thing just gonna burn everywhere you see that funkiness it's nice to get funky but we're not trying to get funky here. We ain't making music here. We're making Star Wars graphics. Alright, I'm just circling around that little lens flare circle. And it is getting out all that funk. Alright, that looks cool. So uh, maybe you want to adjust the opacity and just make it a little lighter. alright so we got a pretty good looking saber we got a realistic looking lens flare and let me just show you the saber without the lens flare and the outer second outer glow layer looks nice but with this it kinda really jumps out at you a little more <laughs> okay so uh, once again Kit Fisto from the force effects dot com Jedi Archives forums make sure to log on 